Frank C. Welcome back to another episode with your man Frank C. Uh, today is going to be number 11 in the A Life series. A Life is where uh, I take a more well known uh, fragrance, you know, that, that scent profile, you know, whatever it's, it's known for compared to a lot of times a, a similar and mostly a similar and less expensive version of that. And at the end, we'll see. Which one is better? Should you go for the original? Should, does the one that we're comparing with uh, work in its place? Or is the one that we're comparing with better than the original? So we'll um, get to that at the end. But first, I want to say thank you all to all my subscribers. Um, we passed the 180 mark. I definitely appreciate um, you, your support. Um, this is your first time that's on the channel. Please uh, subscribe as we continue to bring you fragrance uh, footage and content. So just kind of jump into it. Um, this... Um, the two fragrances I'm going to be comparing are both from the house of uh, Yves Saint Laurent and um, that is going to be uh, um, YSL M7 Oud Absolu which is kind of an updated version of the original YSL M7. Now I got, I, I bought this one back in like 2018 time frame. Um, this was uh, probably in my first 25, 20 to 25 bottles I bought. I started fragrance collecting back in 2017, so I would say 2018 time frame is when I, I bought this one. It was definitely in my, in my top maybe two dozen of first bottles that I bought. Um, once again, uh, I bought this off of a uh, recommendation from, from Kevin Samuels. This is back when he was doing fragrance reviews and men's, and men's uh, you know, more men's grooming and fragrance content. So um, he said it was good, so I went and picked it up. Back when I got this scent, I think I paid like $54 for it. Uh, now you can't get this for uh, for less than like $130. He's looking at $130s at the least. Uh, this is probably the most available version of M7 that's out there right now. And uh, it, it's really nice. Um, you know, I, I've I put a little dent in it. You know, I've been wearing it over the years. I don't wear it too often. Let's just get a spray. See what, uh, you know, I'm kind of unbutton the sleeve here. Let's hit this. Do a hit, one hit, one, two, one or two hits. Here's the atomizer. So nice atomizer. YSL has a pretty decent atomizer. And this one is no exception. Okay, as soon as you spray it on, it comes right up. I mean, and uh, this 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 fragrance has notes of uh, it's mandarin orange, patchouli, oud, myrrh, and French labanum. 2011 release. Just an awesome scent. I mean the uh, the mandarin, uh, the the it's in there is a little citrusy in there. Of course, that oud is blended ever so nicely, and that myrrh. This is another incense note. It's just an awesome scent. It has that cough syrupy type uh, vibe going on with it. You know, um, it's just just a great scent, and um, you know, it's definitely one of my favorites. And compare that to the original M7. Uh, M7 came out in 2002. Uh, this is when Tom Ford was the creative director for um, the House of Yves Saint Laurent. It was actually produced by the great Alberto Morias, and um, there's another gentleman that, that helped them out also um, with this as well, um, Jacques Cavalier. So um, this, 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 this is this is the pretty much the foundation for westernized oud scents. I mean, now you have westernized ouds like Gucci, Gucci Guilty oud, uh, Gucci yeah, Gucci Guilty oud, uh, you, you know Gucci oud intense. Um, you know all, all the all the you know, of course with Tom Ford. You know he's pretty much the uh, you know the, the one who pretty much brought the westernized oud uh, fragrance profile. And with this one, it's really simple. With this, we have notes of uh, uh, rosemary, uh, mandarin orange, once again, oud, amber, musk, and vetiver. That's in this one. So uh, this this is the original. Like I, I plan on making this video a couple years ago, but you know, finally getting around to getting it. So I got this this little um, it's a sample, like a, a 1.2 mil sample of M7. I've, I've worn it, uh, I believe, like maybe once before. So I got a good amount of juice in this left, so I'm, I'm definitely treasuring this because uh, M7 now, <laughs> you can't get a bottle of full-size bottle M7 for less than $500 pretty much. So it's, um, I'm definitely treasuring this. So let, let, let's do <laughs> maybe half a spray. That's a pretty sizable spray there. So let's see. Yeah, this is, this is the OG right here. 
this is very earthy. Uh, the oud is is more is is more focused on oud, whereas the M7 oud absolute. There's other stuff going going in going on in the mix. The oud is present, but with M7, the oud pretty much slaps you in the face. But it's a nice, smooth, westernized oud. And there's nothing skanky about it. Like I said, very earthy. Uh, that's probably from the Betty Vet, from the, the, the better verdict that's, that's in there. There's a little little green note, and of course the the muskiness. There's also a little uh, herbal nuance. The rosemary is there, so it's just 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 an awesome scent. Um, you know, and M7 is is definitely I think in the grill category now. Uh, if you have a bottle of it, or you come across it for, for a good number, it's definitely worth scooping up. I mean, I'm, I'm watching. I have a certain number in mind I want to get this at. I'm not definitely not paying five hundred dollars for it, but. If I come across it for for a good price, maybe half of that, I think it's definitely worth 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 picking up if you, you can come across a bottle of it. So, um, in the end, which one wins out? So, um, of course you can't you can't be original M7, but because of the price point, because it was it, it's, it's you know status as, as a rare, I would say Grail set. If you come across M7 Oud Absolute, which is still you know kind of pricey now, the price has shot up once. Um, you know, uh, M7 started uh, to you know back back when I, when I wanted to make this video, this was going for 50 to 60 bucks. And M7, you know, the uh, you know, supply of M7 was dwindling, but it was probably around the 150 to 200 dollar range back in 2018. Now, of course, that's more than double. So, if you can get a bottle of M7 Oud Absolute for you know 120, I, I would say 110 to 120, no more than 120 range, it's definitely worth picking up. Uh, definitely worth getting in your collection because this one came out in 2011 and you know the numbers on these are dwindling too so I don't I don't think it's still in production anymore so um, you know I think that's part of the reason why it's also uh, going the price is going up of course M7 it, it, you know I mean it's the OG but if you don't have a bottle of M7 I think Oud Absolute will get the job done and it's also a little brighter, a little brighter than M7. M7 is definitely a wearable oud, but it's definitely a, a, a brighter oud for you know those who might have be just getting into oud or not, um, you know, not really big oud, big oud fans. I say it's a good mid-level uh, oud as far as complexity. So, Frankie Amelia, thank you for tuning in. That's all I have for you today. So until next time, take care.